killer footage. Beautiful. Let the boys be boys. Red on top of his head. This is something that I've always wanted to do. Whoa. They're so accurate. There it is. Shoot, streams of- Aloha, my ohana. It is your boy back with another aquatic adventure. Now, if you're new to the channel, we talk about everything in the aquarium hobby. I got another banging video for you guys today. I'm actually in my fish room, AKA Tiki Lounge, and everybody's sleeping right now. It's pretty late at night. These are the pros on having a fish room in your garage. You can actually just shoot content while everybody's in the house sleeping and having a peaceful night. I don't know why I'm whispering. I'm in the garage. I mean, come on. Let the boys be boys. We don't have to be quiet. We're in the garage, the fish room, my domain, my man cave. Okay, for those of you that don't know, I bought archer fish. If you guys didn't see that video, I'll leave a card up above. Click that card, go check out the archer fish. We're gonna go into a little bit more detail about the archer fish. This is something that I've always wanted to do when I bought archer fish was to have them shoot streams of water out of their mouth. That's what they do in the wild. They'll see an insect above on a tree on a leaf above and they will shoot with accuracy a stream of water hitting the bug falling in the water and then going and eating it and so my ultimate goal on getting these archer fish was to do this i want to create a natural habitat where i can actually put some crickets on a stick and have them shoot streams of water at it knocking it in the water and them eating it right now they're little they're like two inches they're really small they can get up to about eight inches so i'm kind of training them right now to shoot their little stream of water i didn't think they can do it because they were so little i'm gonna flip the camera around let me show you guys give you a quick little update on how they're doing and here are my clouded archer fish i apologize for my voice i think i lost it while yelling during UFC 300. Uh, these are my clouded archer fish, better known as the zebra archer fish from Asia. So this aquarium, I was calling it the South American Aquarium, but now I'm gonna have to call it the South American Asia Aquarium. Now they love high protein based diet. So what I'm going to do is feed them freeze dried blood worms. They absolutely love them. Look at, uh, slowing it down for you guys. So you can actually see these guys feast I got them wet and I stuck them to, look at this, oh, the side of the aquarium so they can actually see it. Now you can see the current is kind of moving around so it's not like they can just sit there and stare at it. So they gotta constantly kind of be working their way in the water. Um, be aware, they are jumpers so you gotta make sure you have a tight lid on your aquarium. Now these guys are only about two inches, they're little. So make sure those aquariums are tight because they can get up to about, ooh, look at this one. Look at that, accurate, right? Jumping out of the water, getting those little freeze-dried blood worms. Um, they can get up to about eight inches. Ooh, look at this one. Boom, we gotta slow it down for you guys. Their mouths are pretty big. They will eat smaller fish as they get bigger, so be aware of that, okay? Extremely aggressive, they are carnivores. High protein, they love to eat insects in the wild. Now, I got these guys jumping out the object is to get these guys to shoot streams of water that is the ultimate goal here so i want to exercise these guys get them ready so the main goal would, would be to bring ooh, watch this guy watch him watch him is he gonna jump or is he gonna shoot water oh look at that jump he launched himself completely out of the water look at him Oh, they're just scooping up. They're so fun to watch, guys. Ooh, that guy missed it and he got it. Um, but the ultimate goal is to have them shoot a stream of water um, at this, at these fried, ooh, or deep freezed. I said fried, deep freeze blood worms. Look at them, literally jumping out of the water. Oh, look at that. When I slow it down, you can actually see them eating the food off of the glass amazing right <laughs> oh look at this big bunch oh he got a big pile let's look at look at let's go underwater watch him eat it a big pile of blood worms like i said they're freeze-dried blood worms yeah a little bit too much for you to eat huh bud look at them extremely active though and they're doing good they're actually growing man i just had them and they're already growing. As you can see, the silver and the black markings, absolutely love these guys. They're like little like 
NFL Raiders. <laughs> Look at them. Top feeders, too. Once in a while, you'll see them. When they're hungry, they'll go down and grab some food that's floating around. But for the most part, they are definitely... Oh, there you go. He dove down about halfway in the aquarium to pick up a, a blood worm there, freeze-dried blood worm. But they're so pretty. Like I said, they're about two inches. They're smaller. Um, and the ultimate goal is to have them shoot streams of water. Look at... Watch this guy. Oh, gosh. He got the... Oh, the whole pack of it there. Look at him. A <laughs> little bit too much, huh? You bit off more than you can chew, huh, buddy? Look at them, though. They're so cool, though. I want to get, like, two more, maybe one more. So I'll have a total of three or four. Uh, you can see the current. They swim pretty good. They're super fast. Don't let them fool you. And have extraordinary vision. Um, these are my redhead Tapaho, my Geo Vegas. I'm throwing in some food for them. Uh, they're doing great. This is the one that had some scuffs on its head. It looks like he's healing, and it looks like he's getting a little red on his on top of his head. Hence the name Redhead Tapaho. Geo Vegas. Bottom feeders. Oh, watch this one. Look at this is look at I actually get him shooting a beam of water. That is the clouded archer fish. So accurate. Look at him. Watch him right here. Is he gonna jump? Or oh look at he shot. Look at. Look how accurate they are. I don't know how they do this, but it's so cool. They tagged it so accurate, aiming right at it. It's amazing. I can't wait to feed these guys some crickets. Look at them. Hey, buddy. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We got some killer footage on the archer fish shooting the streams of water. I managed to get it a couple times. Now, don't forget, they are jumpers, so make sure you have a lid that's really tight on the top if you do plan on getting archer fish they love to jump out of the water as you can see in the video but also i can't wait till they get a little bit bigger i'm gonna go down by some small little crickets put them on a branch and have them dangling over the aquarium maybe i'll drop the water level to about halfway and then we'll do that and watch them shoot streams of water knocking the crickets in the water I'm excited to do that, just to see their natural skills come out. And like I said, they're so accurate. Did you see that stream of water hit the exact spot where it was aiming? And they're not even looking at it outside of the water. They are underwater shooting a stream. And the depth perception, I don't understand how they do it. All I can say is kudos to Mother Nature. That is an extremely cool fish. The archer fish, those are clouded archer fish. So they are strictly freshwater only. There are other archer fish that are brackish water. Um, but these here, clouded archer fish, they don't get super huge. They are on the smaller side of the species and they're fully freshwater. So get yourself some clouded archer fish if you guys wanna know where they're at. Aquarium and Reptile Depot in Citrus Heights. All of their links will be down in the description below. Go check out their online store too as well. Depot Pet dot shop and i will see you guys in that next video take care much love and aloha